Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, October 10th, and it is a cloudy, rainy day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. That's a bit of a pity because I had some plans to do some outdoor work today. Excuse me while I retrieve my tamper. And I'm going to have to do some indoor work today, which is fine. I got plenty to do. So, I'll talk a bit about my, my indoor work, my outdoor work. Um, but uh, my, my wife is still in Pittsburgh. She's coming back on, well, tomorrow. At least that's the plan. She might delay it till Tuesday. She's often a day late. Uh, I shouldn't say she's often a day late. Coming back from visiting her family, she has difficulty getting out the door. So my bachelor week is coming to an end. It's been fun. Um, but you know, I miss her. She, I, I miss what she does. It's been hectic because there's so many things that I have to do that she normally does that it just, you know, took up time and made things a little more stressful. So I appreciate her for doing all those things. And, uh, you know, in, in Genesis, when God is about to create Eve, he says something like, it is not good for man to be alone. It is not good for man to be alone. The reason is, we're not as smart as we think we are. Don't get me wrong. We're smart, and we, we, we're all smart. We all have done wonderful things in our personal life and, and in our area of interest. You know, we, we focus in on that, and we're, we're, we're great at it. You know. But we approach the world in a very logical fashion, a very uh, analog fashion, to use a science-y term. We like to break things down into components and think, okay, this is how the world works, and then we deal with it. We like to fix it. Uh, this works out fantastic if you're trying to rebuild a carburetor. You know, it's exactly the approach you need. Turns out, it's really lousy if you're trying to, oh, I don't know, Plan a surprise party, repair a relationship, raise a child, all those things. It, just, it doesn't work. It also turns out it's, and, and that's why we need women in our lives, because they, they, can, they can do those things. It, it also turns out that it doesn't work so well if you're trying to repair a wheelbarrow. So I got this old red wheelbarrow that I love. I've had it for years, very dependable. I've uh, made some improvements to it over the years. I put one of those solid rubber tires on it so I don't have to worry about pumping it up every every year. I just use it in the backyard so it's not like it's going over you know, big bumps or anything. It works out great. I only use it three or four times a year, but boy, when you need a wheelbarrow, you really need it. Now, I know I'm going to get comments saying, why don't you just buy a new one? They make them better than that now. They're not that expensive. You're going to spend more money fixing that than you would spend. I know. I know. But it's my wheelbarrow, and I want it. <laughs> I want to fix this. I want to keep it. And so yesterday, I, I, the, so the problem, the problem is that the handles on it, you know, the long wooden posts that run down the sides, uh, are you know they're old I keep it outdoors uh, I keep it outdoors all year which I know is bad but I don't have a place to put it in my garage because well the garage is where my wife shopping goes to die so I, I don't have a place to put it and I just keep it outside and it you know it's fine I lean it up against a fence and it, it's it's great it rusts a little bit but it's a wheelbarrow I don't care but the wooden handles are starting to rot. 
and they would probably be okay for a couple more years but at the very end where the two handles kind of stop there's this like u shaped piece of steel that goes over the two ends and then bolts come through and that ties the front end together now that broke so one of the handles actually rotted to the point where it broke uh, and that piece is no longer there and, well it's there but it's not holding the two ends together and now it can do this and that's not good so uh, I basically had to replace the handles I said, okay I can do that take out bolts get new handles drill holes in the right places Put the bolts back in and, and you're done. So I went out in the yard yesterday with uh, my ratchet and appropriate size socket, a screwdriver. I said, let me get this thing apart. It'll take me half an hour. First, first nut, ratchet fits over it, no problem. Out it comes. Perfect. Second one, ratchet isn't deep enough. Turns out there was just one bolt that was short enough that the ratchet could get over it and engage the nut. The rest of them were, were longer. I don't know why. These are the original nuts and uh, bolts that are you know, reused to build the thing. And they're all rusted, by the way. So I have to go and get a, uh, what are those things called? box wrench one ends open the other ends a little circle I, you know, I get one of those wrenches the right size and I go to get the second one off and I got the screwdriver and the, the slot on the, the the bolt and I get and, and the nut just will not budge it just wouldn't budge. and it's not the kind of thing where you know I would get a hammer and hit the wrench or something like it just there's just no way to do it it's too awkward so I said okay um, WD-40. So I get out my can of WD-40 and I go and I soak them all down. And by the way, I tried others. that They're all just rusted solid. So everything gets sprayed down with WD-40. And I wait about a half an hour. And I go back and I try again. Nothing. These things laughed at the WD-40. So I repeated, you know, apply more WD-40. Did that a total of three times, had no effect. None at all. So I've got one bolt out so far. And there's about eight or 10 that I gotta get out. All right, what are we gonna do? Well, I could grind the heads off the bolts and pull them out, that, that's theoretically possible. But I didn't want to get into that. Uh, by the way, I've got some 8 o'clock coffee, and this is my Bari pipe from Danny Shore. And I'm smoking uh, the rapidly declining uh, Big and Burly. I can't wait until this is done because I don't like it. So. After three applications of, of a WD-40 and waiting, nothing's moving, I gotta get these things out. I'm gonna replace it all so I could have ground the heads off. Uh, I'm gonna get stainless steel to replace it so that hopefully this doesn't happen again. Hopefully I'll never have to take them out again. But I gotta get them out. And I wanna just, I, I just didn't want to go through the grinding thing, so I thought, well, the other thing that I often do to loosen up things like this is I heat them. You know, heat is, is a fantastic tool when you need to get stuck things apart. Heat or cold, you know, both work. I didn't have a freezer big enough to put the wheelbarrow in, though, so I got out my torch, and I've got a map torch. I don't have a propane torch, I just, just have the map torch. Now, if you guys don't know about map torches they're very similar to those little propane uh, cylinder torches you know, same same basic idea but they've got a different gas in them um, and it burns hotter than propane a lot hotter than propane 
I got this because I wanted to set up a little mini forge years ago and actually do some forging. And uh, my wife put a damper on that. She didn't like the idea of me having a forge in the yard. But I had the torch, and it works great. You know, it's it's really, really handy. Um, so I got that out, and I go and I heat up the first bolt, and I get it. It wasn't, like, glowing red, but it was starting to glow a little bit. And I thought, okay, that's probably good enough. And I... Uh, oh, and and by the way, the, this one is on metal, so there's there's no no wood there, and you know out, off it comes. It was beautiful, it worked great. It's all fantastic. This is going to be fun. You know, so I go to the next one. This one is through the handle. Uh, same process, and I don't know if it's that WD forty is flammable or just the fact that wood is flammable, but the the surface caught fire. Uh, now it wasn't like a blaze, I blew on it, it went out, you know, a little bit of smoke, everything's fine. Get out the wrench and the screwdriver and slips right off. Fantastic. Now I got two of them off. Three of them off. I go to number four. Same thing, this one is through the handle. Uh, this is one of the ones down at the end. Uh, actually, it's one of the ones that holds the wheel on. I had gotten the wheel off that one. Uh, I was able to get that one out without any any issue. So the wheel's out of the way, and I go and I I start heating this nut, and I do the same thing, and the same thing happens. You know, it flames up and all that, and I I get it glowing, and I I go and I put the torch in, and I blow it. I couldn't blow it out. It just kept burning. I blew a couple of times. I wound up having to get, I had this little terry cloth towel that I'm using to like get the WD-40 off my hands and stuff. And I go and I beat it out and, and I get the flames out. I go, okay, that's fine. And then I go and I get the bolt off. And I, you know, I'm noticing that this thing is continuing to smoke, but I'm thinking, well, that's not that big of a deal. So I go and I, I work on another one. And while I'm working on another one, I, I notice something out of the corner of my eye. I look up, and the darn thing's on fire again. <laughs> so I go and I beat it out again. And proceed to work. And this thing just continued to smoke and ember. And uh, I, I, I took a short video of this just to, just because it was funny. You know. uh, I... This thing just would not go out. I, I had I had started a, an ember in there that I could not get out. I guess I could have poured water on it, but I didn't want to go get water. I had I was trying to get the darn bolts out, and uh, yeah, it just kept going. And you can see here just how deep it it was at this point. It actually, by the time I was done, it had burned through. It it actually burned that end of that handle off. And, uh, yeah, I eventually, before I went in for the, the night, I, I did take it down to the hose and I soaked it all down and everything so that there wasn't any danger. But, yeah, I lit my wheelbarrow on fire. I continued to do that and got uh, all but one of the bolts out. I, I'm going to have to grind the head off of this one. I, I, it, it was strange. It got to the point where the nut would turn but it just wouldn't advance. So I guess it was so rusted there that when I did get it turning, it just stripped away the, the threads and it's sitting there in a threadless portion of the bolt now. So we'll grind that one off. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just wire brush the whole thing and maybe get a couple cans of Rust-Oleum and spray it down. It's been good to me. It deserves a coat of paint. And then use stainless steel um, hardware to, to rebuild it with the new handles. Is it worth doing all this? It's a difficult question to answer. I think it is. I... I I get a connection to things, and, and maybe I'm weird in this way, but like I have tools that to me are some of the most valuable things I own 
that, you know, when I'm gone and my wife has the big yard sale, they're going to sell for like a dollar, 50 cents, you know, but to me, they're, they're incredibly valuable because I've had them for years. I've established a relationship with them. I, I believe you can have a relationship with things as strange as that sounds. Now I've got a relationship with this wheelbarrow. I talk to it. Probably shouldn't have admitted that, but <laughs> yeah, I talk to it. Had that wheelbarrow with two sets of dogs. Talk to the dogs too, so. A lot of memories in it. And it's never let me down. And there's nothing physically wrong with it. So to me, throwing it away, I just can't do it. You know, it, it seems wrong. So I will keep you updated on the, uh, the wheelbarrow. Uh, I hate to say restoration because I'm not going to restore it. But I guess technically I am, but it's probably going to look ugly after I paint it because I'm not going to like, you know, strip it down to bare metal and prime it and all that. I'm just going to get a coat of paint on to hopefully prevent the rust from getting too bad. Yeah, that was my day yesterday. The take home message is we do need women in our lives because my wife, if she, if she was home and she saw me walking to the yard with that map torch, she would have said, what are you doing? And I would have explained it to her and she would have said, isn't the wood going to burn? At that point, I probably would have gone and got the grinder and ground off the, would I? Yeah, probably. Ah, well, she'll be home, hopefully, before I burn the house down. Well, folks, with that, I got to get my day going. I'm going to go and make myself some breakfast. Got a lot of fun stuff to do in, indoors today, laundry and such. Like to spend some time down here. Got a lot of got a lot of pipe work to do. We'll see how that goes. I am uh, going to Vermont on Friday. Going to go visit my dad, my brother and sister. I haven't seen them in quite a long time, so I'm looking forward to it. So probably will not have time to do a video on Wednesday just because I'm going to be spending time getting ready for that trip and it's a busy work week. Uh, and I'm definitely not going to do a live stream on Friday, but Yardism, Chad has agreed to run his live stream longer. So if you want something to do on Friday evening, go. Chad's got his live stream starting at 5 p.m. Eastern and he's going to go straight through. So if you haven't seen one of Chad's live streams, they're fantastic. Uh, he, he's really, really good at it and uh, always has something interesting to talk about. So I will put a link below to Chad's channel. You check that out on Friday. I will probably not do a video next Sunday either because uh, I'm coming back on Monday. So I definitely won't do a video next Sunday. And by the way, the internet connection up there is terrible. Um, the, it just it would be impossible for me to do something from up there so i'll be back uh the following friday and maybe i'll try to do something on wednesday too just to let you know i'm alive and tell you about my trip all right folks i i hope you have a fantastic sunday uh finish out your weekend in a, in a great fashion and enjoy the week ahead and until we speak again in a few weeks time i'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon Goodbye now.